very pleased with the work that we got done last week. Um, you know, we spent three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, on future opponents. Uh, certainly in position here, five games in November. Um, excited about the opportunities that are in front of us. You know, so working on some of these future opponent issues that we may get presented with was, was really good for our team, and I thought our staff did a good job of organizing that. And then Thursday, Friday, we, we kind of reloaded, you know, recentered a little bit and worked specifically on our football team. Um, time to reflect there, have some self-awareness and, and really committed to improving, built our practice plan um, and meeting plan around areas specifically that we needed to work. Uh, and improve, and, and I thought we did a good job. You know, I've been a part of some open dates that are like pulling teeth, and um, you know, th these kids showed up and worked, and, and I thought it was a sign of maturity and a sign that we're motivated about what's in front of us. Uh, and certainly, yesterday showed up as a staff. Players were off, uh, but turned the attention to Texas State, and today we'll we'll move move on to them. So I'm excited to get back to work on an opponent and. Um, you know, excited about a great opportunity at homecoming to play in front of our people uh, and represent this place, um, you know, past, present, and future. You know, I think uh, sometimes people want to make it out like it's a negative, it's a distraction, but I think it's a it's a great opportunity and a positive. Uh, and we look forward to it. So uh, with that being said, we'll take some questions here. Yeah, I don't know that we're in that place quite yet. I think um, it's a Western Division opponent. It gives us, gives us a chance to really uh, create momentum and work towards the ultimate goal here. You know, and I think that um, we're not the type of team I don't, I don't think that can just put the ball down and check the box. You know, we've got we're very much a work in progress. We've got lots of young players playing uh, that need to make improvement. We've got specific areas on our team where we need to kind of go to that next level, play a complete game, play our best game of the year. Um, and what, that's all we're, you know, worried about. You know, certainly Texas State, you know, you start looking at them, they're a very capable team. You know, they beat Georgia State, which in my opinion is one of the most improved teams and one of the better teams in the East and in our entire league. Uh, we've had a chance to follow them a couple of different times and, um, you know, you can see that they're a very, very good football team. So for Texas State to pull that off, I think, gives you an indication that they're very capable and have lots of uh, talented players that can give you issues. So this is a veteran coaching staff as well, you know, and a very experienced staff, certainly Coach Spavital in his first year. The defensive staff is basically the entire Texas uh, Tech defensive staff. Uh, so power five experience, and, and you can see that when you watch them on tape. So... Uh, they present a number of challenges, and, uh, you know, we, we've got to have a good week of prep here. The second half of your schedule, how do you as a coach raise the bar of the expectation for your team to execute in the correct way and not play how yeah. they want to play? Yeah, I mean, I think it's about improvement. It's about, um, you know, I mean, what else could you ask for as a football team? You know, you, you've got – uh, you're in position where if you handle your business, you'll get the old – you know, you get that opportunity – uh, that we experienced last year, um, and I think you got to compartmentalize these things. I don't think I think you got to have a little bit of a big picture feel here. Hey, you're a five and two football team with five weeks to go here in November. Three of those are at home, and certainly play uh, three of them are Western Division opponents. So I think that you know the big thing here is you know one week at a time. You know it's got to be approach. You know one mission at a time, and certainly. Texas State is that team this week. What is Texas State doing better than last year and even the year before? I know you weren't here, but I mean, in what ways will fans see a, an area of improvement? Sure. Well, I don't necessarily know that um, that would be the – I don't know that I like that comparison question because I think that they did a lot of good things even last year, you know. So I know in particular on defense – uh, they were one of the better teams in the league last year. You know, it gave n a number of teams, not just us, some issues. Uh, and we were in a back-and-forth game that went down to the wire last year. 
uh, against this team. And they've got that same group of players coming back. This is a veteran football team. So, um, you know, I think the big thing is there's, they're being co coached differently. There's different concepts in all three phases. Uh, and that's the biggest thing I, I would say, you know, is that it's the same group of talented players we played against last year. Uh, they've been in some tight games. They went back and forth um, and certainly had some tough games as well. But I think the big thing is it's just new con new concepts on offense, defense, and special teams. How much, how much easier does it make it for defensive staff in that both their quarterbacks are somewhat similar sure. and not totally different skills? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that – uh, both of them have done a good job at times. Uh, they, they, I think they're maybe second or third in our league in passing yards per game. Uh, they've got some, you know, very capable skill guys. Um, I think that, you know, they've had a little bit of an injury bug there, started the year with one guy, then made a transition to another. He gets injured and they bring the other guy back. But the kid that played against us last year, I thought was a young talent, um, has played well the last week and a half or so. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll prepare for both. And certainly the blueprint, the big picture deal on offense didn't change dramatically. Uh, and that certainly helps you. Y'all were, look, from the Mississippi State game on, look like y'all were feeling physically as good or better than your opponents. But what about playing, having a five-game month and it's going to be a little more condensed? Sure. Did the two-game October, was it helping y'all are ready for that physically? <laughs> Yeah, I, th I think um, I've been a, I've been very pleased with how we've held together from a physical standpoint. You know, we um, we benefited from some ten day turnaround, eight day eight day turnaround, uh, and then we're getting ready. You know, we're kind of getting halfway through this sixteen day turnaround, but it is going to be unique in that we're going to play five weeks in a row. This five day turnaround after this game uh, is a little bit unique, and we've spent a lot of time thinking about that and planning that the right way, but. I think our team is in good position, you know, um, and we always say, hey, you know, regardless of where we're at, it's pretty common in this game for you not to have, you know, your full lineup each and every week. You know, team people are going to get injured, uh, and certainly the opponents are dealing with the same types of problems. So everybody's got problems. Uh, it's more about the solutions and having the right perspective and attitude, I think, at this time of the year. Yeah, yeah, we're we're healthy at running back and receiver. No issues there. Uh, Trey continues to make good progress, um, you know, and and participated in practice a little bit in mo in a modified format, but we expect him to work today. Uh, and as we get closer to the game, he'll get closer to you know doing a hundred percent of the work. But he is he has made good progress. Yeah, I think Levi uh, certainly has made good decisions for the most part. I think each each and every game, um, there's a handful of plays that maybe he'd like to have back, just just like we all would. Uh, but he's been very effective. You know, I think um, a lot of what we do rushing the football, he's got to make really good decisions. Uh, and I think that gets overlooked at times. Uh, but he's getting us in and out of the right play, and uh, certainly distributing the ball in the perimeter. Uh, whether it's the run screen stuff or the run pass stuff. Um, and then I think, you know, he, he's also accepted the challenge, like many of our players in many areas of our team, that, you know, we've got improvement to do. You know, and I think he had a tremendous week last week. Um, you know, he, he is kind of a standard bearer, you know, in our organization and on our team uh, and certainly has kind of set the tone for how you prepare, how you work. Uh, and last week was no different. So I'm excited to see him. Uh, he, he is l much like our football team. Uh, we need to play more consistent. We need to put all of it together, uh, play our best ball, and play a complete game. We have, we have yet to do that, uh, and certainly that's the focus here as we go into November. With, with, with a short week for the next game, do you look at this game in terms of who plays and how many plays – yeah, no. Than a normal game because of that, or is it the no, same? no, I, I don't, I don't think that's part of the thought process at all. You know, our, our entire attention right now 
is on Texas State. You know, we'll, we have a plan that we've put in place, um, but in terms of our players, they don't know what that plan is. They know, hey, today's going to be a Tuesday practice, you know, even though it's Monday. Um, we take it one week at a time. We put it in front of them. Hey, here's the plan post-game to game day, uh, and that's where our entire attention is right now. Sure. Yeah, no, I think it's a fine line in there in terms of talking about the big picture. I think you got to motivate your team and you got to create perspective about the opportunities that are in front of you, but then you got to zero in and nail down, all right, here, here's the big picture, but here's the plan for this week, you know. Uh, and I thought we did that in the open day. I thought we did a really good job there. We gave them a couple of days off. And then we brought them back to work on Monday. I thought they worked really well Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, Wednesday was a deload day, and then we wrapped it back up. It was all good on good um, Thursday, Friday, and very competitive. And, and I thought we got what we wanted to get done there. The freshmen that you've played, that have played a lot. Sure. Are, are they – is a lot of the freshman stuff kind of over and they're starting to act like sophomores, or you're not at that no, we're not there yet. We've got lots of new players, you know, or maybe even they've been here a year or two, but they're inexperienced players, you know, and we've seen incremental improvements. Um, and that's kind of what I'm talking about, you know. Our entire team is built up of a lot of players that haven't played before, you know, or they're young, they're freshmen, they're sophomores. Uh, and, and that's part of our team that we need to continue to make improvement. And they're spread throughout the entire a team in different position groups, offense, defense, special teams. Um, you know, we've got our laundry list probably too long. We could have a whole pr press conference about that. But um, I do think that we did a good job last week of focusing on those areas, not only uh, specific objectives, but individual players, situations, um, techniques. I mean, it, it was well done. I thought our staff did a good job. No, I think we played, uh, we've gotten them, we've improved. You know, there's no question about the effectiveness of our defense relative to the type of team we had last year. But, you know, I think as the season goes, uh, you create a little bit more of an identity. I think we're doing a good job communicating. I think we've developed some confidence. Uh, and I think the, the new pieces have helped us. You know, the young talent in the secondary, uh, the depth up front, uh, and the quality play. Uh, that we're getting at every level. You know, we're we're, a t we're playing good team defense right now, um, and we you know we still have yet to play our a complete game, if that makes sense. Um, and we could say the same thing about our offense, and certainly could say the same things about special teams. So uh, that that's the mission here. Okay, go go make improvement, play a complete game, and certainly uh, have a great week of prep for Texas State. Yeah, carved carved a handful of pumpkins Saturday. That's for sure. Uh, we did some trick or treating early this week. They hooked up with Coach Dez and Coach Sell. Took our crew over to New Iberia and did some early trick or treating. So uh, it was good. It was good. I think anytime you can double dip on trick or treating, everybody benefits. So we'll do some more later this week. Yeah, you can talk to my wife about that. She's, she's in charge of that. <laughs> All right, that's enough for today. <laughs>